one of the things that all these pots you see here have in common is none of them were made on a potter's wheel. They're all made by using the coil method. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make a large pot like this without using a potter's wheel. If you enjoy the video, please like us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Okay, start this process by flattening out the clay, slamming it down until I get a nice flat surface to begin for the bottom of my pot. This, you could also do this on a slab roller if you want. This seems to work pretty quickly and pretty easy for me. I roll it out like so, and then just cut out a circle for what will be the bottom of the pot. All right, so there I have the bottom of my pot. Now, I normally do this on a plaster bat, and I use a, a banding wheel. I said I didn't use a potter's wheel, but I do use a banding wheel for this process. So what I do is I take some of this leftover stuff from the, the bottom piece, and I just roll it out into a coil, and for my very first coil on the bottom of my pot. What I like to do is I like to check, make sure it's gonna fit, that looks good. Then I throw it down hard on each side, sometimes a couple of three times. And I bounce it once on its edge, flip it over, this is the edge it's going to, to attach to my bottom piece. I go ahead and put a little slip on the pot and on the coil. A lot of people don't know, think this is necessary. I know some people you do this step, others don't. I am just sort of in the habit of slipping and scoring every joint I make. All right, so what I want when I put that first coil on, or all the coils, I want them to be a little bit longer than needs be. And that way I can cut uh, it into shape. Now when I cut, I, I use my knife and I don't go straight up. I cut it at an angle. That way it gives me a little bit more clay to attach to each side. I lift this up, put it underneath, bring it up, give the two ends a quick score, and put it together. Now, in order to attach this to the base, what I do is I push down with my thumb on the inside and take a little bit of clay from that coil and let it get squished onto the bottom and I'll do a similar process on the outside. For demonstration purposes I'm going to do this real quick for you but basically that's what I want on the inside. On the outside I'll do the same thing just taking a little clay from that top of that coil and pushing it down around the bottom. Now, on the very first row, I always like to put one more small coil on the inside. It just seems like that is a good way to reinforce it. There's plenty of slip down there on the bottom so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I just give this a, just one little bit more reinforcement for the where the wall hooks onto the bottom. All right, so 
that's pretty much all I'm going to do for the first part, for the first coil. And I'm going to add another coil, same process, get a little bit of the extra clay, and roll it out. When you do this rolling part, it's good to, rather than just going back and forth, back and forth in the same spot, to turn it a little bit, give it another little push. And sometimes it's a good idea to flip it side end to end. That also will help you get a nice even coil. I'll check it, make sure it's gonna fit. That's a little small, so I'm gonna just give it a couple more rolls. Now I'm gonna throw it down again. When I do this on large pots, sometimes I'll I'll make these a little bit bigger so that there's a little bit more there. All right, same process. Give it a quick splash with some slip and give it a little score and do the same process again. I know this is a little bit messy right now, but I'm gonna clean it up later. All right, so same, same thing. I'll demonstrate this one more time for you. Uh, hold the fennel knife at an angle and push, put it underneath so I don't, if I did it this way, there's a chance I could cut too far. So if I put it underneath, I know it's going to be nice and neat cut. All right, so basically now what I do, the same thing again, I start pushing all the way around till I get it attached. And, I'll, and once it's all pushed around on the inside, I'll do it on the outside as well. Like so. Once this is all, uh, one side is all attached to the other, what I, what I normally do is I'll I'll take my uh, rib, I have a nice big flat metal rib here to, to clean it up. I generally put about three uh, rows on and then, then clean it up as I go. I spend almost as much time doing this as I do putting the coils on. And I do the same thing on the inside. I bring the rib around and clean it up. You know these things, these things called ribs, you know why they're called ribs is because primitive people when they first started making pottery they used this very same method and they actually used ribs from actual animals like a nice a uh, deer rib will work really well to, has a nice sharp edge on it and you can clean up your pot. All right, I, I put another coil on and what I normally do is I just put three coils on and I let it dry. This clay here is pretty wet, so I'm gonna give it a chance to set up. Oftentimes what I'll do when I have, uh, when I'm making these, I'll make two at once. I'll, I'll make one up to three coils, then I'll start a new one, and I'll go jump back and forth, back and forth, putting three coils on each pot. That way I can get more done in a day. If uh, you just do one pot at a time, you end up with a lot of downtime waiting for the clay to dry. What I like to do be before I start, I put another coil on. I In between each coil, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I will cut off just a little bit off the top because I like to have a nice flat surface to start out with the next coil. So I'll, I'll cut it off like this. Yeah, that, that way I have a nice flat surface to add my next coil on. I 
added three more coils and spent a good amount of time cleaning it up with my rib. I'm going to let this dry out so I can add a couple more. Well, I've added three more rows and I spent a good deal of time once again polishing and cleaning up the sides with my rib. I want to show you a little trick some people do when they make these. They'll take a form, make a form, you can just draw it and uh, you can just set it on your pot as you go and it'll give you a guide. So you can keep checking as you as you build your pot to get it square and and the size you want. I don't use this very often because I've had enough experience. I kind of know when I can see what's going on. But for beginners, this would be a good uh, thing to try. You can cut out various different shapes, and uh, it'll it'll give you an assist on uh, keeping it nice and round and going up straight, not tilting one way or the other. All right, I, I finished up. I added several more rows of coils and I'm up to the top now and I'm going to put a piece of my final coil on the top and I want to demonstrate that for you because it's a little different than the other ones that I showed you before. This time it's, I'm, I rolled out a, a nice coil and I'm not going to throw it down. I want to keep it round and I'm going to measure to make sure it's going to fit. Yeah, that's fine. And once again, I'm going to do the scoring and slipping so that I know that this is going to stick on here when I put it down. I'm going to lay it down and cut it off just like I did before with my My knife at a slight angle. Now I want to make sure this gets attached here. I want to show you how that works. All right, in order to do this, I'm just going to pat it on the inside a little bit, get a little pressure on that coil. And then what I do is I, I push, just like I did before, I take a little piece of that and push it down underneath. I'm going to go all the way around do that and then once I get that all the way around I'll go back and I'll clean this up and try not too much to touch the outside because that'll stay nice and round if you leave it alone so you just pinch it as you go around and that's all there is to it Okay, so that's how I make a coil pot. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to our channel.